In previous movies, we discussed shortening our critical path. One of the techniques we thought about using when we were shortening our path is adding additional resources to tasks to get them done quicker. Now, when we use Microsoft Project to do that, Project will check the resources calendar to make sure they're available so that it's going to be following the working time rules that we've placed. So it's going to be working within a regular workday, but it doesn't necessarily check to see whether or not you've already assigned that resource to other tasks. So in shortening your critical path, you may over allocate your resources. And that's not healthy for anyone, the person being over allocated or the project manager who's going to have to deal with disgruntled employees. So we want to avoid that at all costs. And we're going to use the power of project to take a look at where we may have over allocated our resources. If you'd like to open up project resource conflict exercise file, you can follow along with me. Now, I don't want to have the same resource working all day on the same day causing an over allocation. That's kind of what I'm looking for here. But to go through all of these tasks and look through this Gantt chart to try to see where I may have done that would probably take me as long to do the actual project itself. So how can I leverage the power of Project 2007 to help me here? Well, it has a couple of different tools that you can work with. Some of the views that are already embedded in the system are shown over here in our view bar. I could take a look at a resource graph, and here I have my web designer coming up. Now you'll notice that he's in red, so this is automatically giving me an indication that there may be a problem here. And I can scroll through his calendar looking for red indicators, and I see one here the week of April the 8th. So I have over allocated this individual on the Thursday and Friday of that week. So I, I know he's working 200% on those two days. Now, while I may like him to give me 200%, I can't ask him to do that going into the project. So there's one way that I can see by using my resource graph where I've over allocated my resources. Another way I could see the same information is on my resource sheet. So if I click on my resource sheet, it presents me with all the resources in my project. And again, it's highlighting two places where I have over allocated individuals. Not only have I done it with the web designer, but I've done it with the web administrator. So this particular view is very handy. It gives me an overall view of where I may have over allocated my resources, where the graph that I was looking at previously just identifies the days where I've made the faux pas. So anything that's bolded in red is an over allocation. I've also got an indicator on my indicator column here that shows me that I have a problem and gives me a suggestion on what I should do about it. Another way I can look at this information is by using my resource usage sheet. And this is kind of a combination of both views. It lets me see the tasks for that particular resource. And as I scroll through my chart. I can see the days and the hours that I have people working at different tasks. And again, as I scroll through the sheet, everything's good until oh, I come up with my red indicators here where I know there is where I need to make some adjustments. So Microsoft Project really gives you a lot of information on seeing where your issues may be and it helps you identify conflicts. There's also another view that we could take a look at, and it's the resource allocation view. And you can get to that by opening up your view toolbars and making sure that your resource management toolbar is open. So I've already selected it. In doing this, you have a nice view, resource allocation view that I'm going to select as the very first icon in that toolbar. So I'm going to open that up. And it gives me a nice split screen. It identifies the tasks above it gives me my resource names, and it identifies the individual tasks below for the resource that I'm looking at. I want to just pare this down somewhat just to look at the over-allocated resources. I can do that by going up to my filtering options and selecting over-allocated resources. And it now simplifies my view so that I can see which resources are over-allocated and then the different tasks for the resource that I have selected above. So if I'm looking at my web designer, here are the tasks that person performs, and I can now start to adjust my allocations for that individual in order to level out their workflow. 
we're going to take a look at some more basic conflict resolution techniques in our next movie.